Okay, we're going to discover the future of sustainable living as we explore the top 15 next level forest houses. Let's start with number 15, the Ariao Towers. Standing as tall as the trees of Brazil along the Rio Negro River, there once stood an extraordinary retreat known as the Ariao Towers, a paradise for the intrepid traveler seeking an unparalleled immersion in nature. The Ariao Towers sadly are closed today, but they epitomize the concept of a forest home like no other, blending innovative architecture with raw beauty. Imagine a treehouse hotel where adventure awaited at every turn, and among its striking features was the Tarzan Room perched 110 feet high in the canopy. Connected by catwalks and docks, navigating this vertical landscape required a steady step, but the reward was immense. Encounters with exotic wildlife ranging from playful monkeys to graceful river dolphins and a myriad of rare bird species. Exploration really was a way of life, and guests could traverse the forest via canoes, gliding through rivers veiled by overhanging foliage just moments away from joining the mighty Amazon. Elevated catwalks weave through the forest canopy, offering a unique perspective of this vast ecosystem. Now, the genesis of the Ariel Towers is steeped in a fascinating history. It was inspired by a meeting between its founder, the legendary Jacques Cousteau, during a Manaus expedition. The hotel's concept was born from the ingenious construction techniques of local indigenous communities, who traditionally built along the river edge. This blend of inspiration led to the opening of the first tower in 1985, a pioneering endeavor that merged ecological consciousness with adventure tourism. Though the physical towers may have vanished, their memory continues to evoke the thrill of living among the treetops in one of the coolest forest homes the world has ever seen. Number 14, La Chaine Chapelle. Imagine stepping into a fairy tale world where an ancient oak tree steeped in history plays host to not just one, but two small chapels nested within its hollowed trunk. This remarkable marvel, located in the serene French village of Alouville Belfosse, is a living testament to resilience and endurance. Believed to have taken root over a millennium ago during the era of Charlemagne, this oak, known as the Chaine Chapelle, is revered as the oldest tree in France. Standing firm through the epics that saw the rise and fall of monarchs, revolutions, and modern presidencies. In the 1600s, disaster struck when lightning struck the tree, scorching its heartwood and hollowing its core. Instead of succumbing to this cataclysm, fate intervened, as local clergy Abbot du de Troyes and Father de Soro envisioned a sacred haven within the tree. They embarked on an audacious endeavor, fashioning a shrine to the Virgin Mary within the tree's hollow. Over time, another chapel and an external spiral staircase were added, weaving a tale of devotion. The oak did face its greatest peril during the upheaval of the French Revolution when it became a target of revolutionary fervor, seen as a relic of the old order and church authority. Yet a stroke of brilliance spared the tree from destruction. A swift renaming as the Temple of Reason shielded it from the flames, preserving its ancient wonder amidst a revolution. Number 13, Gajumaru Treehouse Diner. Imagine a cityscape where the natural world collides playfully with urban design, creating a whimsical tapestry of unexpected sights and experiences. In Okinawa, Japan, amidst the bustling streets and flashing lights, stands a majestic banyan tree, a symbol of nature's resilience in the chaos of city life. What sets this scene apart is not just the ancient tree itself, but what rests within its sprawling branches. The Gajumaru Treehouse Diner, a quirky dining spot that once offered a truly unique experience overlooking the city. To reach this unconventional eatery, diners embarked on a journey via a spiral staircase, ascending into a realm that felt both natural and timeless. The view from the restaurant's wide windows and airy balconies was nothing short of surreal. Surrounded by the tree's gigantic limbs, diners felt as though they were cradled in the palm of a mythical titan, observing the city's motion from a tranquil vantage point. Japan's flair for the extraordinary. It's an example of the country's penchant for blending tradition with innovation. It was a place where guests could savor a meal while immersed in nature's embrace, a concept that perfectly encapsulated Japan's spirit. Sadly, though, the diner is no longer open, but its memory, as well as the structure itself, remains to those with a hunger for something a little out of the ordinary. Number 12, Treehouse Point. Not even a half hour east of Seattle, amidst a forest straight out of a hobbit's dream lies Treehouse Point, a whimsical retreat where sleeping in a tree feels perfectly natural. Set alongside the aptly named Raging River, this enchanted realm invites guests into a world of clever carpentry and melodious birdsong. 
It's a brainchild of renowned treehouse designer Pete Nelson. It's been flourishing for 19 years, drawing inspiration from Pete's passion for arboreal architecture, showcased on Treehouse Masters. This property has seven distinct treehouses, each with its own character and name, offering a range of enchanting experiences, priced from 325 to 625 bucks a night, including breakfast. Imagine you're ascending a spiral staircase to enter a realm suspended among the canopy, where the outside world fades away, replaced by serene vistas. The view from the treehouse's picture windows is mesmerizing, framed by the colossal limbs of ancient trees that cradle the diner like fingers of a forgotten giant. Guests at Treehouse Point revel in a unique blend of nature and luxury, surrounded by the comforting sounds of rain, river, and forest. Each treehouse offers a cozy retreat, furnished with modern amenities including electricity, coffee makers, and scenic views through big windows draped in white curtains. Treehouse Point has become more than a lodging. It's a destination where dreams take root, hosting weddings and serving as a hub for treehouse enthusiasts. Though its growth is limited by permits, the property continues to enchant visitors with its Keebler Elf-esque vibes. Number 11. Atlanta Glass Treehouse Built within a lush grove near a park in Atlanta, this glass treehouse emerges as a striking modern wonder, seemingly invisible amidst the verdant summer foliage. This architectural gem defies convention, blending sleek glass panels with the rustic charm of towering hardwoods. Approaching the treehouse, one is greeted by a play of light and shadow as the sun's rays dance upon the surface. The structure, spanning two floors, is an example to sustainable design, constructed primarily from recycled materials, glass panels held together by steel hardware. It was a labor of love pieced together by its designer owner. Imagine life inside this transparent sanctuary. It's nothing short of enchanting. The interior, bathed in natural light, offers a minimalist retreat adorned with simple yet elegant furnishings. Each corner reveals a story of creativity and resourcefulness, showcasing the meticulous craftsmanship of its architects Mary Claire de Royal and Carlos Tardillo. The glass treehouse is more than just a home. It's a symbol of resilience and innovation. Its creation during the aftermath of the financial crisis in 2008 speaks volumes about the determination of its creators, who scoured Atlanta for overlooked land parcels, eventually settling on a challenging yet affordable site. What makes this treehouse special is its integration with nature. Rather than clear the land, De Royal and Tardio embrace the existing trees, weaving the structure around them. This symbiotic relationship earned it the nickname, the Atlanta Treehouse, a moniker that captures its organic presence. The interior layout is a blend of functionality and whimsy. A secret pivoting door separates the two levels, each offering a distinct experience. The top floor, used by the architects as a studio, has innovative glass pivot doors. They're a marvel of engineering that even a child can operate effortlessly. If anyone out there wants to see the joint or even stay there, all you gotta do is book a stay online. But remember, this is someone's private residence otherwise, so just imagine what their everyday life must be like. Seems pretty chill. Number 10. Wood Nest Cabins Tucked away the trees in Norway, the wood nest cabins offer a modern escape that harmonizes with natural surroundings. It's perched on single trees with steel collars. These unique abodes integrate seamlessly into the forest landscape, leaving the trees undisturbed below. Designed by Helen and Hard Architects, the cabins float gracefully about 15 to 20 feet above the floor, an example of their minimally invasive approach. The concept of these cabins arose from a shared vision between the architects and their clients, Sally and Kajartan Anno, who prioritized respecting the forest environment. The cabins, accessible only by foot via a steep mountain path, embody the sensation of climbing and exploring trees. A wooden ramp leads guests to the elevated entrances, rewarding them with expansive views of the surrounding area. Inside, the compact 160-square-foot space is thoughtfully organized. A small bathroom and bedroom flank the entrance, guiding visitors towards the main living area. The kitchen and living space feature a glass facade that floods the interior with natural light, offering views of the forest beyond. The use of vernacular wood materials, including timber for the structures, untreated shingles for wrapping the cone-like form, and elegant wooden ribs on the interior ceiling, underscored the design's commitment to blending in seamlessly with its environment. The wood nest cabins demonstrate that exceptional architecture doesn't always require expansive spaces. Instead, it celebrates clever interior organization and a thoughtful approach to vernacular design, respecting and enhancing the natural beauty of the landscape. 
Both cabins are available for rent through the Wood Nest website, promising guests a unique and unforgettable retreat surrounded by the tranquility of the Norwegian wilderness. While we do know for a fact that the Vikings didn't live like this, there's no doubt that they would have an appreciation for the woodwork and the natural setting of these wood nest cabins. Number 9. Anping Treehouse The Anping Treehouse, laying down its roots in more ways than one in Tianyan's Anping District, Taiwan, is easily one of the coolest forest homes on this list. Originally, it was a warehouse complex dating back to the 19th century, built by the British Tate & Company Trading Company. This site has undergone a remarkable transformation over the years. While not at all what it once was, the Anping Treehouse shows us what happens when nature has its way with man-made things. Banyan roots and branches envelop the abandoned warehouse buildings, weaving this mesmerizing web that intertwines with the remnants of colonial architecture. Visitors to the treehouse embark on a journey through time and nature. Exploring the grounds, one encounters the remnants of brickwork and concrete entangled within the intricate network of tree roots. Navigating this unique spectacle requires a sense of adventure. Visitors will climb the stairs and wander through elevated walkways. They may need to duck under invasive branches, adding enough sense of exploration and excitement to make you feel like Indiana Jones. The Anping Treehouse has become a cherished part of Taiwan's cultural heritage, drawing tourists and locals alike to witness its enchanting transformation. With each visit, guests are reminded of the resilience of nature and the passage of time. It stands as a living example of the enduring connection between human history and the natural world, offering a glimpse into a realm where history, architecture, and nature converge in captivating harmony. Number 8. Shma Company Forest House Forest House, situated in Chatuchuk, Bangkok, was built as a bold response to the challenges of urbanization and air pollution that have plagued the city. As rapid development has led to a decrease in green spaces and increased air pollution, Bangkok residents have faced persistent health issues linked to poor air quality. In response to these environmental concerns, Forest House has embraced a revolutionary new approach by integrating trees directly into its design. Now, the aim is clear, to introduce sustainable and low-maintenance solutions that not only enhance living environments, but also contributes to combating air pollution. The layout of the new structure is segmented into three sections, incorporating two courtyards that facilitate excellent air circulation. Remarkably, despite the limited space consisting of three floors totaling 300 square meters, the design of this forest house supports the growth of over 100 trees. To ensure the success of this innovative concept, young trees aged one to two years with adaptable root systems were carefully selected. Indigenous species known for their low water requirements were chosen to promote biodiversity and sustainability within this confined space. The rooftop of it has been transformed into a multifunctional urban farming space. Sunlit planters house a variety of Thai fruits and traditional herbs, offering fresh garlic produce for the family while serving as a dining and relaxation area. Moreover, maintenance strategy for the forest house prioritizes simplicity and resource efficiency. A slow drip irrigation system conserves water, and fallen leaves contribute to the forest floor, enriching the soil over time. Moving on to number 7, Daniel Caven's Oregon Forest Home. Tucked into the lush forests in Oregon, just outside downtown Portland, Royal is a captivating blend of modern design and natural serenity, crafted by William Caven Architecture. This striking home seamlessly integrates with its surroundings, offering a unique experience of living amongst the trees. Perched on sloped terrain, the design of the Royal was carefully executed to minimize disruption in the landscape. A concrete foundation anchors the structure, while angular cantilevers extend the upper level outward, creating a minimal footprint that allows plants to thrive beneath. The framework of the house, constructed from wood and steel, is enveloped in fireproof cement siding, ensuring durability amidst those surroundings. Floor-to-ceiling windows flood the interior with daylight, and their overhangs delicately filter sunlight and shelter the outdoor deck from rain. Inside, the ambiance is softened by white oak floors with walnut inlays, echoing the tranquility of this forest. Upon entering the royal, one is greeted by an upper-level foyer that encompasses the living, dining, and kitchen area. The entryway, akin to a decompression chamber, offers panoramic views of the forest, a space to shed the day's concerns before entering the home. The interior is an example of natural elegance, with fixed furniture crafted from white oak mirroring the floor, and custom designed pieces from the Good Mod include a wall upholstered couch and wooden kitchen stools. They imbue warmth and character into the living space. 
In the kitchen, a white quartz top island complements the home's sleek aesthetic, while a custom-designed dining table fashioned from various wood slats offer a communal gathering space. Tom Dixon's pendant lights serve as a striking centerpiece, marrying his form with function, and each bedroom on the lower level features an outdoor terrace that invites the forest inside. Natural elements such as planters and jute bath mats further echo the home's organic surroundings. Number 6. House Param Nestled within a verdant estate rich with trees, Milan Vorster architecture interior design crafted a unique treehouse that harmonizes with its forest surroundings. Commissioned to complement existing structures on the property, the architect envisioned a small contemporary hideaway inspired by the concept of a cabin suspended amid the treetops. Located in a tranquil clearing, this treehouse mimics the verticality of the surrounding trees to capture sweeping views from the elevated side. The structure's organizational diagram revolves around the pure geometry of a square, with each side divided into three modules. Two of these modules dictate the diameter of circles on all four sides, resulting in a pinwheel layout. The square geometry aligns with the site's orientation, while the circles symbolize the organic surroundings. Supporting the floors above laser-cut and folded cord and steel columns, arms and rings resemble steel trees that delicately interact with the timber elements. Brass components elegantly express these connections between the steel and timber, highlighting the natural aging process as the materials weather alongside the surrounding trees. This treehouse features a vertical arrangement resembling a clearing in the forest, with living space on the first level, a bedroom on the second, and a rooftop deck. Circular bays accommodate various functions such as a patio, dining alcove, and bathroom, each articulated by pure geometries that define this experience. Entry to the treehouse is via a suspended timber and steel ramp, further enhancing the feeling of entering a secluded sanctuary amongst the treetops. Every detail of this architectural gem reflects a deep reverence for nature, embracing the passage of time and the evolving relationship between the built environment and its forested context. Number 5. Hotuan, Shengsan Island in the lush expanse of the Shengxi Archipelago off China's eastern coast lies the captivating abandoned village of Hotutuan. Once a bustling fishing community teeming with life, it faced depopulation in the 1990s due to its remote location and diminishing economic prospects. By 2002, the village was officially deserted, left to the whims of nature. Today, this once thriving settlement resembles a fairy tale forest, with ivy clad buildings frozen in time, adorned with the remnants of daily life. Hotutuan gained viral fame in 2015 when mesmerizing photographs of its overgrown charm circulated online, attracting attention from tourists and photographers. Concerned about the impact of sudden tourism, local officials initially urged restraint to preserve the village's tranquility. However, recognizing its allure, plans were made to harness tourism for economic benefit. In 2017, a viewing platform was established, offering visitors a distant glimpse of Hotutuan's enchanting landscape for a small fee. Guided hikes around the village became another attraction, with warnings posted outside dilapidated buildings to deter exploration. Today, former residents turned guides welcome curious visitors, sharing stories of the village's past amid a sea of green. Hotutuan has become more than just a ghost town, it's a living spectacle, it's an example of the enduring allure of nature's reclamation. Visitors are treated to an otherworldly experience. The village, once bustling with life, now offers a serene escape from the modern world. As one explores the winding paths and staircases of Hotutuan, it's easy to imagine the vibrant life that once filled these streets. Fishermen returning from the sea, children playing in the narrow alleyways, and families gathered around dinner tables. Echoes of the past linger amid the overgrown vegetation. Former residents share their stories with visitors, preserving the village's history while embracing its new identity. It serves as a reminder of the interconnectedness between humans and nature, highlighting the beauty that emerges when we allow the natural world to flourish. Number 4. The Mirror Cabin Soon, visitors to the Tennessee mountains will have the opportunity to experience a truly immersive retreat with the unveiling of five new mirrored cabins at Bolt Farm Treehouse, nestled on 55 acres just outside Chattanooga, Tennessee. Each cabin is thoughtfully equipped to accommodate two guests, featuring a comfortable queen-size bed, air conditioning, heated floors, a desk, rain showers, and of course, high-speed Wi-Fi. 
The cabins also have a well-appointed kitchenette with a stovetop, grill, pizza oven, mini fridge, French press, and other cooking essentials. However, the highlight of these cabins is undoubtedly the private terrace complete with a hot tub, Adirondack chairs, a bistro table, and a smokeless fire pit, providing an ideal setting to unwind and soak in the serene surroundings of Whitwell Mountain. Owned by Seth Bolt, the property originally gained a claim with the majestic treehouse in Walhalla, South Carolina, built by Seth and his father Larry for Seth's honeymoon in 2015. Amid the pandemic, Seth and his wife Tori discovered the Whitwell Mountain area, captivated by its potential. The property now offers a range of accommodations including domes and treehouses, some of which have been featured on Netflix's The World's Most Amazing Vacation Rentals. The cabins blend in seamlessly with the surroundings, providing guests with an unparalleled immersion. The Bolt Farm Treehouse property connected to a 5,000-acre nature preserve offers an array of outdoor activities too, from hiking and horseback riding to ATV tours, paragliding, paddleboarding, kayaking, fishing, and pontoon boating on the Tennessee River. Reservations for these unique cabins are available for weekday and weekend stays, with prices starting at $395 a night. Bookings can be made on the Bolt Farm Treehouse website, promising an elevated and unforgettable mountain retreat experience. That is, if you can even find them. Number 3. Castile Creek Retreat If you love nature and you've got a cool $78 million to spend, then this is the place for you. It's located about a half hour's drive from Colorado's Eagle County Regional Airport. This 439-acre retreat is a secluded paradise. Nestled in the forest between Edwards, Beaver Creek Ski Resort, and the prestigious Vail Mountain Club, the journey to the main house begins with a striking million-dollar curved steel bridge, setting the dramatic tone as visitors approach. The property, listed for $78 million, offers a scenic drive through the mountains and forests, culminating in an awe-inspiring castle-like estate. Carrie Ensley, the listing agent from Sotheby's International Realty, describes the design approach, highlighting the elevated metal bridge that navigates through the trees rather than descending into them. Built in 2001, the main house spans an impressive 32,000 square feet and is adorned with materials such as copper, steel, glass, and stone. Ensley emphasizes the exceptional quality of the finishes, showcasing top-of-the-line materials that contribute to that luxury. The interior features an artful Dale Chihuly chandelier, visible through towering windows, adding an artistic flourish to the dining area. This retreat can comfortably accommodate over 40 overnight guests, with 21 bedrooms and 34 bathrooms spread across the main house and additional structures. The guest suites offer spacious and private accommodations, each featuring dens, theaters, offices, and bars. Endless amenities include a caretaker's home, themed apartments, guest houses, a historic cavern, and recreational facilities like a multi-purpose sports pavilion, billiards room, library, and a stock trout pond. The expansive 25,000-square-foot recreation building has a climbing wall, a teppanyaki bar, meeting rooms, exercise facilities, and so much more. For outdoor people, there are 12 miles of groomed trails for snowshoeing, cross-country skiing, hiking, horseback riding, and ATV adventures. This property also offers extensive water rights and features an on-site gas station. Buyers have the option to expand the compound with up to five additional guest homes, catering to larger gatherings, if you got the cash. Or maybe it can be scooped up by a Bond villain. Either way, this place is nuts. Number 2. Minister's Treehouse Horace Burgess's treehouse, also known as the Minister's Treehouse, was a remarkable testament to one man's divine inspiration and tireless dedication. Located in Crossville, Tennessee, this structure began its journey in 1993, when Minister Burgess claimed to have received a divine message during prayer, instructing him to build a treehouse. Over the next 12 years, Burgess poured his heart and soul into constructing what would become a local icon, a towering treehouse and church that soared to an impressive height of over 97 feet. Supported by a massive living white oak tree with a 12-foot diameter base, along with the assistance of six other oak trees, this monumental creation stood as a marvel of ingenuity and faith. Burgess utilized an astonishing 250,000 nails, both with a nail gun and hand-driven, amounting to about 500 pounds of penny nails to bring his vision to life. The treehouse, affectionately referred to as God's House by Burgess, became a cherished attraction in the community, with Burgess even officiating 23 weddings within its sanctuary. Despite the unofficial title as the largest treehouse in the world, Burgess's creation faced some challenges. In August 2012, the state closed the treehouse due to safety violations, deeming it a hazard to visitors. 
Over time, neglect and vandalism took their toll, leaving the once majestic structure vacant and dilapidated. Tragically, on October 22, 2019, Burgess's treehouse met a fiery end, engulfed in flames that consumed the structure in a mere 15 minutes. The cause of this blaze remains unknown, but the loss was profound, marking an end of an era and the destruction of beloved landmark. Though no longer standing, the minister's treehouse continues to inspire and captivate, reminding us of the power of human ambition and the enduring spirit of creation. Number 1. The Korowai Tribe's Treehouses Imagine the extraordinary life of the Korowai tribe who have mastered the art of living in the treetops, their homes soaring high above the jungle floor. Located in the isolated reaches of New Guinea's southeastern Papua, the Korowai are the only people in the world whose primary dwellings are elevated treehouses. To the uninitiated, this lifestyle might seem like a feat of daredevilry, however the reality behind their treehouse abodes is rooted in practicality. The jungle terrain, with its frequent flooding and persistent insect populations, poses significant dangers for ground-level living, hence the tribe resorting to labor-intensive method of constructing their homes atop the trees. In a BBC documentary titled Human Planet, the Korowai showcase their remarkable craftsmanship with an ambitious project, a treehouse standing over 114 feet above the ground, completed in just two weeks. This astounding feat includes the towering ladder crafted to access the treehouse, which itself has floors and walls made from tree bark and a roof adorned with leaves. It's an example of the tribe's resourcefulness and ingenuity. Traditionally, the Korowai reside in isolated settlements consisting of no more than five treehouses, strategically positioned near their gardens. A typical family home is built between 8 to 12 meters above the ground, although some dwellings reach heights of up to 45 meters in certain areas. The process of building a Korowai treehouse is both meticulous and strategic. A stout banyan tree serves as the central support with its top removed to begin construction. The framework, crafted from branches, is supported by additional poles. Sago palm bark forms the floors and walls, while leaves and rattan bindings create the roof. Marriages often prompt the construction of new homes, with residents moving in after performing a nighttime ritual of beating the walls to ward off evil spirits. Animal fat is smeared at the threshold as a blessing, signifying a new beginning for the inhabitants. Despite their advanced construction techniques, though, the lifespan of each treehouse is relatively short, averaging about five years due to the challenges posed by the jungle environment. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time. Thank you to our channel members.